Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Deb Chanel's 48th World with the family as co host, okay? I don't know what's going on with Teresa and her brother Joey. I mean, Joey or Joe. Because it's cra it's crazy. It really is. If you wanted to attend your sister's wedding, you would have. Okay? That's just period, point, and blank. Okay? And I mean period with the DT on it. Not how we learned to spell it in school, but how we got kind of slang and wanted to add some words to it. All right? But, welcome family to the channel. <coughs> and make sure you get down in those comments and definitely Tell me what you felt about this situation, this topic of discussion. And YouTube been kind of acting funny lately. So if you find yourself un unsubscribed to the channel, make sure you start subscribe back now. Subscribe back, okay? Anyway, we got this story we're going to bring out to the family. And I want you to weigh on into it with me. Personally, I think if... I was trying to, I'm trying to think of anything that will prevent you from even being in the midst of your family. I can't really think of one thing. One, I can't really think of it because it's like we're supposed to be forgiving. We're supposed to be forgiving individuals, okay? I don't care what race, color, creed you are. You're supposed to have a happy heart and a happy life with loving life. You know what I'm saying? Living life. So I don't know what really could have preventing joe Gor gorga from uh, attending his sister's wedding okay even though we know it's her second wedding i hope it's her second wedding uh not no third fourth fifth and sixth but either or joe and his wife melissa did not attend the nuptials of lewis or louis and uh his sister Teresa's wedding that just happened i think it was last weekend but he wants to say he wasn't asked to walk his sister down the aisle now, <laughs> Joe, make up your mind now. Don't be going back and forth. You said you wasn't coming, so where's the relevancy of you being asked or not asked to uh, walk her down the aisle when you had specifically said you and your wife was offended with some things Teresa had said and did, and uh, you had no reasons to go to her wedding, okay? You wanted her to enjoy her day, but you and Melissa were going to be there, even though you know you are the only family she has left because the mother and the father, has, you know, they're deceased. So that was piss poor on your part. I mean, you could have threw bad feelings or hurt feelings away just for that one day. Just for those many hours you were going to be in the midst of her and her new nuptials. That's how I look at it. That's how I feel. I mean, if, the, if your sister didn't stab you in the back, uh, literally... <laughs> Things can be forgiven over time. But to miss something that big, uh, your nieces were all in there. It was just piss poor judgment. You should have just went. Either if you had a, a, a bad time there, you still should have went. Kept up the airs and, and do what you needed to do. Keep up the United Front. And then cuss her ass out whenever she come out for her uh, honeymoon. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get right back into it. But you didn't do that, Joe. But you're on these uh, social media platforms, uh, especially Heavy.com, is where I'm getting my entertainment news on you. Uh, well, you did an interview. You did an interview saying you just wasn't asked. So that's why you didn't come. Come on. Get the fuck out of here, Joe. Come on. Don't play with us like that. Play with kids. Don't play with grown folks. Okay. But anyway, we got this article from Effie. We're just going to call her Effie O. Okay. I don't want to mess up her last name. And she did a, a piece on joe gorga and she titled it was joe gorga going to walk Teresa gudas down the aisle okay Teresa gudas and louis roulez exchanged vows during an outdoor ceremony at the park chateau estate and garden in 
East Brunswick, New Jersey. On August 6, 2022, their closest friends and family gathered to celebrate the couple, but two people were noticeably absent from the soiree. Teresa's brother Joe Garga and his family. Okay, it has been confirmed by both sides that Joe and Melissa did not attend the wedding on August the 11th, 2022 episode of the On Display podcast. Melissa said that she wasn't able to share exactly what happened due to contractual obligations. Obviously, we did not attend your sister's wedding. We have a laundry list, right, of reasons in our heads and why, and I will let all my listeners know this, you know. Obviously, there was something that went down at the final uh, finale of the filming, The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Those exact details, I obviously not cannot say today. Anything we have filmed is something that I am not able to talk about, she said. Joe joined Melissa and the two opened up about their decisions to skip Teresa's wedding. At one point during the podcast episode, Melissa asked Joe if he was going to walk Teresa down the aisle. <sighs> the only thing I have with this whole shit of an uh, interview they did with Joe Gorga and his wife Melissa. If you wasn't going to attend, then, then your mouth should have been closed. Anything anybody would have brought to you about talking about your sister's wedding, where you're going to go, where you're going to stay, you know, what was going to be what. You should have said, I'm not at liberty to talk about that, and I don't want to talk about it. Excuse me. Do you have anything else? But we're not going to discuss my sister and the, her pending upcoming nuptials. That would have been more appropriate. But instead, this is what you said. Oh. <sighs> Joe said he would have walked Teresa down the aisle if she wanted him to. All right. And that's some bullshit, y'all. Some bullshit. Don't come with the fakery. Don't come with the fuckery. Don't come with the fraudulent and foolish activity here, Joe. Okay. <sighs> anyway, Joe and Teresa's father, uh, Gacinato, G. Gacinto, or somebody like that, Garga, died in April 2020. Teresa was extremely close to both of her parents, but especially her daughter, I mean, her dad, as the two have a very special father-daughter bond, like they say. Always daughters, uh, always father's girl, and always mother's boy. That's just what it is. I don't make up the line. It's just what it is, okay? But moving on, because Teresa's dad was unable to walk her down the aisle, she walked down the aisle by herself. <coughs> approaching the makeshift altar while carrying a very large bouquet of flowers during the on display podcast joe brought up people wondering why he didn't walk his sister down the aisle or if he would have had he attended the wedding however he said that his sister never asked him to to do so well she asked you to the wedding george i mean joe she told you to come to the wedding it might have been a surprise that you would have been asked at that day, in that very moment, to walk her down the aisle. Now, would that have been precious? But you lead it on to your own understanding, your own uh, narcissistic behavior, your own jealousy, and you just didn't want to attend. Okay, Mad Joe. Moving on. That's not in the latest article. That's my sidebar. Uh, I was never asked if I walk if I was walk well, if I asked I would love to. I was never asked if I was asked I would love to and by the way let me tell you when she walked down the aisle she looked beautiful oh joy your kiss ass the kiss ass you're doing but moving on to the article again and I love that song that she picked the Alva Maria and that was my mother's song when she passed away we sang that song that made me melt you know and was sad to me but that was beautiful it really was i mean she looked beautiful the the place was gorgeous joe said it looked like an amazing wedding it really did and it sucked that we weren't there for many reasons joe added oh, it shouldn't have been no reasons joe that's what i'm saying what you love you love and you go into it full force okay full throttle and if things tend to go bumpy south and right north and west here and there in your living as siblings then that's what it is but you don't miss those pivotal moments because you'll never get them back it won't be the same all right then we have going back to the article it says interesting joe and melissa didn't bad mouth Teresa or her wedding instead the couple made it very clear that they are still family at the end of the day no shit so if you feel this or you have this revelation that Regardless of what happens in the family, meaning the ups and downs, the bumps and bruises of attitudes and jealousies and all that kind of stuff, 
uh you would have went to the wedding uh but you didn't go to the wedding joe so something is just not right with their train of thinking it doesn't matter what is going on in that moment or in that past type of conversation or past event that didn't uh have you faring so well in the public eye you still should have been there at your sister's wedding period point blank okay moving back to the article um it, um, it says it hits home guys as much as we were mad at something that happened like really really mad about it and it and it's hurtful and you're still a family these are still people that we go way back with right that this is joe only sister melissa said you get to a point when you get tired joe said i don't want to be depressed i don't want to go to someone's home or go into the same room and feel loved and feel like i'm wanted he added he went on to explain that there's a lot more that happened that people don't know about but that he and melissa chose to hold in well see that's what i'm saying you hold shit in it explodes at the wrong time it's all that built up anger and resentment and all that other stuff you were holding for that person that you have some against uh no handle the shit when it's happening then you could just throw everything to the wayside okay i i, I really feel that person should deal with issues that that's going to affect their lives in some part where it's going to be for the negative or the positive deal with the shit put it all out there and then as grown people let it go if it's been addressed it don't need to be addressed anymore okay but face stuff head on versus you know letting it build up build up build up and it boils over like a a, a pot of grits okay but anyway going back uh to the article it said at the end of the day however joe said he's so proud of his little sister or his sister she looked uh, she looked amazing the girls looked amazing the place looked amazing now that's too much amazing going on okay could have chose a different wording joe and you know she's been through a lot i just want her happy that's all i want her to be happy so it looked like a fairy tale wedding and i'm so proud of her joe said joe had like getting married was a big accolade or something teresa been married before okay she's been married before so what was just so amazing so you're being so proud of her but yet you couldn't be there for this amazing amazing event okay mm. joe don't make sense it just don't make sense okay but that's all i got in uh, regarding this video you can see there look like they're very happy uh like i said joe even if his wife didn't want to come he still should have been there okay even if he was sitting there in the audience like everybody else or she tapped him on the shoulder and said come walk me down the aisle either or it would have been beautiful you represented the family because it's just you and Teresa now but you had to be all up in your feelings like a female and uh miss the more uh missed a very good wedding seeing your sister being able to remarry someone that she loves okay but that's all i got for this video guys y'all get down in those comments y'all let me know what y'all thought about it was joe a punk it ain't mean gay i mean just a punk a weasel a, a low down dirty dog that he didn't uh attend his uh sister's nuptials okay y'all know what i felt about it we know what the public felt about it now we need the family to weigh in and uh give their two cents and a dollar on this particular topic and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.